Hello, Internet, and welcome to Squish Theories, the most original show on YouTube that aims to answer the questions that nobody asks. Today, we will be tackling a very challenging subject. Is Donkey Kong faster outside of his cart running or in his trusty GLA? Well, let's start doing some research, shall we? The first piece of information we need to know is how exactly do we plan on testing the theory? Well, first of all, we need to figure out a way to get Donkey Kong to run on a Mario Kart track and drive on the same one, so we can compare speeds and distance. But, what, do we lure him out with a banana? There's no good way to do it. So, we need to go over to the trustiest game of all time, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now I know what you might be thinking, why are we going to Ultimate? How is that going to help us answer a Mario Kart question? Well, there's a small bit of overlap between those two games. One being, well, Donkey Kong, and two, the stage Mario Circuit. Now with Mario Circuit being in both games, we need to figure out how fast Donkey Kong can run across the stage in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I have constructed a testing mechanism in which I think will be the most accurate out there. Alright, as you can see, I'm on Mario Circuit, and as Donkey Kong, I will run from the left to the right of the stage. I have gone as far as I can, and now we can see just how long that took. Alright, to back up my findings, I will see just how long the stage is with an actual ruler. And as you can see, it measures to just about 8 and 3 quarters inches. Now, this is valuable information because we can calculate how long it took Donkey Kong to go from 0 to 8 and 3 quarters inches, and we can use that as a base measurement for his speed. Now, looking at the video action replay, we can tell that it took me just about one second to make it to the other side of the stage. Obviously, I'm simplifying it because we don't want this to get too complicated. But one second is our baseline for Donkey Kong's speed on foot. For my next test, I will be in Mario Kart 8 on Mario Circuit, completing the course on 150cc on the GLA with standard tires. I will not be boosting or drifting as long as possible to ensure accurate results. I'll speed up the footage so you don't need to sit through the entire track, but this is what I'm going to be doing for a good minute and a half. Alright, 2 minutes, 7 seconds, basically 2 minutes and 8, so we'll round up there. That's how long it took me to drive through all of Mario's circuit. With both of these tests completed, we now have the perfect ingredients to make a cocktail that will give us the answer to the age-old question of which method is faster for Donkey Kong, cart or feet? Starting with the Mario Kart 8 test, we can see that Donkey Kong coming in at 2 minutes and 8 seconds in the 2017 Mercedes-Benz GLA, we can tell that the top speed of that car is around 118 miles per hour. Holding A the entire time on 150cc, I can guess that that is pretty much the speed I was going the entire time. Doing the basic math of 118 divided by 60, because there are 60 minutes in an hour, gives us the number 1.96, which is basically our miles per minute. Since our time was 2 minutes and 8 seconds, we can tell that we went essentially 4 miles for the entire track. I'm just deducting the 8 seconds because if we're being honest, I'm not traveling anywhere in that time span. Knowing that the length of the track is 4 miles, we can use our previous numbers that we saw from the Super Smash Bros. test, where Donkey Kong traveled 8 and 3 fourths inches, basically 9 inches, to determine that Donkey Kong in 1 second can go 9 inches. Now, unfortunately for Donkey Kong, there are 63,360 inches in a mile, which, multiply that by 4, yeah, that's 253,440 inches that he needs to travel on foot. If you divide this giant number by 9, which is essentially the amount of inches that he traveled on the stage, you will get, and I'm doing this in real time, 
28,160, which means he would need to go across that stage 28,160 times in order to make up for a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe sized Mario circuit. Donkey Kong one second to travel those 9 inches, we can tell it would take those 28,160 seconds to go across the Mario Kart 8 circuit. Now translating that over to minutes gives you 469 minutes of straight walking over and over to get to the same distance. Minutes to hours? Well, it's going to take him 7.8 hours to go across Mario circuit once. Now, I don't know about you, but 7.8 hours is a lot longer than 2 minutes and 8 seconds. But who thought he'd be faster on foot? Not me! I bet you did! You the viewer, you are stupid! But hey, that's just a theorem, a squandered theorem! Thank you for watching!